firstly, let's look at the actual drone itself. So this is the, the Spark, this is in the lava red. Now, you'll notice the gimbal's here, it's really small, nice and easy to, to, uh, to, to sort of conceal there, the propellers here fold around to give you sort of extra space saving ability I guess. You can um, fold it up quite nicely and take it wherever you want to go. Now when you start to fly it, when the motors spool up like that, it, it will sort of pull the propellers out like this tight. So all you really need to do when you take it apart and get ready to fly is you just get the propellers, separate them a little bit just like that, and then that's enough that the centrifugal motion or whatever the, the force is called uh, will we'll spin the propellers out and make them go flat like that. So that's uh, the drone sort of itself. You can see that it's quite robust, it's quite strong. The battery is very secure in there. It only comes out when you pull quite hard on the clips and then you can see that the battery is here and uh, and it's sort of like that. Now, when you set up the, the uh, Spark, and I'll go into this in another video as well, um, the actual Wi-Fi information is underneath the battery or on the battery. So I don't know if you can see the QR code here and the Wi-Fi information, but that's where you'll find the instructions for sort of setting it up with your phone. And it took me a good half an hour to figure that out because it doesn't really explain that in the instructions. Um, with the batteries, you press this and you can see exactly how much battery it's got left. It will do, um, there are eight notches, so there's flashing, solid, and obviously there are four of them. So if it's like three and a half, it'll be three solid and one flashing. I um, hope that makes sense. So, moving on. Now, with the Fly More package, um, you'll notice that I've got the, the Fly More bundle, which means there are actually lots of extra bits that you get. You get the legs, which go on the on the bottom here, so that it can land more easily. You can also land in uh, you know on slightly um, more damp surfaces than you could otherwise, because otherwise, if you land on something damp at the moment, it will go into the electrics here and ruin it. So you get those. You also get um, four extra propellers. You'll notice I've only got three because I actually broke uh, one of mine, almost the first flight I did with this thing. What I did was I was taking off from, from my hand like this, and it was quite a windy day. And I didn't realize how stable you need to hold this for it to take off. Um, it was quite a windy day anyway. It was about 15, 20 miles an hour wind speed, uh, which I wouldn't, wouldn't advise flying in. Anyway, I took it off and uh, as it was just starting to lift off, the wind caught it and it just went like that and s sort of smashed sideways into the floor. The propellers, these here, it smashed almost instantly because the propellers are not built to withstand damage, they're not meant to crash. You know, these are very lightweight propellers and they're very thin as well, so don't crash it. <laughs> but if you do, the Fly More package has extra propellers anyway. When you attach them, okay, you just need to make sure that you match up the white part here with the white part on the drone. So if you notice on the motor here, let me just make sure you can see this, this bit, I'll just put it into focus, this little white notch on the motor needs to match up with the white bit on the propeller. And that's because they spin in different directions, clockwise and anti-clockwise. And you need to obviously get the right one. Okay, so now moving on, you've got the propeller guards here as well. What I'm gonna do is just make sure it comes into focus here for you. Right. Now with the propeller guards, they're great for flying indoors, okay, and they'll stop the propellers from actually crashing into anything. The only thing I would say though, right, so it looks quite cool with them on actually, the only thing I would say is when you're flying outside, these act like uh, parachutes, right, the wind gets up inside these and you'll find you have much less control over the drone. So. If you're flying in windy conditions, don't use these propeller guards, they're useless, okay? All they're gonna do is make it harder to control. But if you're flying indoors, obviously use these because if you crash into, this, into a wall or something, it's not gonna do as much damage. Now, with the controller itself, you know, for the first thing you're probably gonna notice, is, as I did, is that when you pick it up, it feels really nice to hold. You know, it's just really smooth and slick. It feels like it's expensive, it doesn't feel cheap at all. Uh, the, the controller thumbsticks are really nice, they've got sort of serrated edges so that they grip your fingers, you're not going to slip on them. And, uh, and then the phone, if you put a phone in and to act as a screen, it goes inside here and it just clips onto the controller like that. In fact, I'm just going to show you that really quickly. Clips in like this and you'll see that the screen just comes up here and uh, you can control it like that. Cool. So, 
A few things about the controller. Firstly, these aerials, the temptation is going to be, right, to take them out like that and to have them just both pointing forward like this. So they're both sort of sideways on but forward. But you actually get a better reception and better signal if you angle them like this so that one is uh, facing that way and one is facing that way. It just seems to get a better signal and also if you try and make sure that they're parallel, not like this. Okay? So when you actually put this in a bag, these, you don't want these to be moving around too much because if you know if it if it gets lent on or if you drop your bag and these get all pushed to the side, this can be bad for the mechanism. So what you want to do is get one of these, which normally comes in the fly more package, but you can also get it on Amazon. And this just clips onto these and makes sure that they don't move around anywhere when it's in your bag. Okay? Now so the actual case you get is a little foam case like this. It's actually pretty it's pretty tough as far as the foam cases go. And in here literally everything that you need just fit. The only thing that doesn't fit in here is the controller, uh, but you can quite comfortably put, you know, two batteries and then one battery in the drone. You can put the propellers in here and that folds up nicely to go in a bag. Now, overall, this drone flies really well. Okay, it handles in wind speed, unlike any other drone that I've, that I've tested so far. Um, really surprisingly well for, the, for its size and uh, considering it's not one of the more pricey drones it's actually quite a cheap drone for what it can do it does fly really well and um, if you what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit in some footage here so you can actually see it flying back um, and sort of see how the gimbal works and how it stabilizes the image but basically if you're a beginner and you've never flown a drone this is so easy to use literally it's so incredibly easy to master all you need to do is just hook it up to your phone use the controller and it's very intuitive, you know, it sort of knows what you want to do. So overall, if you're considering getting this in 2018 and you can't really quite decide between the DJI Spark, which is this one, or the newer drones like the Mavic Air or that's just been released or the, um, you know, the Mavic Pro, the Mavic Pro Platinum, I would still at the moment suggest getting this. Either this or the Mavic Air because this is really versatile, it takes great footage and you're just it's just going to be a great first drone to, to have, you know, it does everything you need it to do. If you want to get one at a great price, there'll be a link in the description down below. And I'll see you in the next video.